Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another video and today we're just going to rip into a bunch of Matchbox. We got basically all mainline Matchbox here that I've had for a while. Some of them are newer, some of them are older. And older by probably within the last year, two years, probably, you know, something like that. Anyway, we're just going to go through them. I've been neglecting these, so we're going to go ahead and just open them up in no particular order. And I will not know, unfortunately what year these came out in. Uh, this one says copyright date 2022, so I can only assume, you know, possibly it came out last year, 2023. That could be accurate, that might not be. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to take a look at the cars and just check out a bunch of Matchbox. So simple, simple as that. We got the Dodge Charger Pursuit leading us off today in KSC Security Patrol for NASA. That's pretty neat. Go ahead and open that up. Uh, I love Matchbox mainline cars. I think they're great quality uh, for the buck. So we'll get that out of the way right there. I just, I, I really enjoy a Matchbox. Um, as opposed to Hot Wheels. I mean, Hot Wheels is great too. Hot Wheels is its own thing. Matchbox is cool. They just, I don't know, more stock cars, you know, standard stuff. And that's kind of what I'm into more so than, than Hot Wheels cars. But uh, this one doesn't get any graphics on the front. It doesn't get any on the back either. And it suffers from that a little bit, but it is a mainline matchbox. You are only gonna get uh, you know graphics on a couple of surfaces. And if they're gonna do multiple colors on the sides, you're probably gonna be missing front and back. But just a nice little simple uh, patrol car. It looks good from the side. Nice little vehicle there. All right, nothing too crazy. We'll set it back there, and then we'll go on to the next one. The next one is a 1933 Plymouth sedan. Open that guy up in blue. Uh, all these cars, by the way, will have a plastic base, metal body, unless I otherwise note, but typically you're looking at plastic base, metal body. This one in blue, we get some detail up front for the grill. And really, that's kind of it on this one. Kind of that weird plasticky looking base and bumper, no chrome. And it's this one's okay. It's not the coolest matchbox. It's just okay. Let's go ahead and move on. We got a lot of cars to go through, so we don't spend a ton of time on each one. Uh, this one is a 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility. It's just like a California Highway Patrol something like that, or it's just a generic highway patrol, not sure. That's one thing that Matchbox does a lot of, as you can see, police vehicles, police and emergency vehicles. Kind of a specialty of theirs, I would say. And we got safety, service, and security. <clears throat> got the push bar up front, and some details for the headlights, some details for the taillights. They get away with that because it's all part of the side tampo, I believe. And then, of course, the highway patrol right there. Not looking super clean, but looking okay. I just noticed they had the spotlight kind of cast into the the casting as well. I did not really know that. This one also has a trailer hitch. So, again, pretty basic, but looks pretty good. It's a good dollar model, right? <clears throat> At least I think so. All right, moving on. We've got uh, the 1971... <clears throat> Excuse me, MGB GT Coupe. This one is definitely larger than 164 scale. This should be a pretty tiny car. <clears throat> MGs are, are little, especially this little two-door. I think they were all two doors, actually. Whatever. Anyway, you get details on the back on this one, and you get some details up front. Pretty nice looking little casting, a cool little car. Uh, unfortunately, it's just too big. I mean, this thing is definitely bigger than 164 scale. Copyright date is 2019 on the tooling. It gives us an idea of when the tooling was made. Always easy to look at that. Uh, and it's, it's okay. But definitely bigger than 164. And... They used to put uh, the scale right on the base of the cars. They used to. Back in uh, some castings you'll see have it, and some don't. So depending on how old the tooling is, you might see that. This is a 1948 Willis Jeepster. 
willies. This is a cool looking little casting. <clears throat> kind of a neat old classic Jeep. You get details up front with this one. Details in the back. Good selection wheels. I like those wheels. They're, they're cool. They use them on a lot of castings. And they work on a lot of castings. So far we've had it on, you know, we've opened five cars and four out of the five have had them. Uh, let's take a look at the base real quick, see what kind of information we can glean from here. You can see copyright date was 2018. That is the copyright date of the casting itself. These are made in Thailand. <clears throat> and overall, this is a cool one. I like this one. I like the color. I think the color is kind of nice. It's almost that National Parks color, uh, the National Parks livery sort of color going on. Kind of a minty bluish kind of a cool color i like it all right we'll set that one back there then we got a uh 62 volkswagen beetle dressed as a taxi and we'll open that one up uh, this casting's a little bit older uh, let's see the date here on the bottom this one is copyright date 1998 definitely bigger than 164 scale right beetle should be really really small and this is not. And it's a decent uh, beetle casting. They all come with a trailer hitch on them. And it's not too bad. And again, we got basically those same wheels again, as you can see here. So, yeah, kind of basic, whatever. Yellow base looks a little bit weird. Yellow bumper looks a little weird. They could have just went with a regular black one. I think it might have looked a little bit better. But the colorfulness of it, I guess, is is okay. All right, moving on. We've got the Mazda MX-5 Miata. And this, again, much bigger than 164 scale. You'll notice that a lot. So uh, Matchbox does not try to scale their vehicles exactly 164. And that's pretty easy to tell here. Because this should be a lot smaller, too. Whereas, you know, this should be a lot bigger, right? So proportionately, the cars together as a collection don't look as cool as some of the other like brands of die cast that would make things closer to 164 scale. Although all these basic model die cast mainline stuff, they never are quite to scale, right? Copyright date 2015 on the tooling. Decent detail in the back. Decent detail in the front. So this is our this is a nice little clean model. It's looking pretty good. Uh, in the orange, the orange is kind of, it's got metal flake to it. Decent looking. I like these wheels, these matchbox wheels. This is another wheel that they use on quite a bit of stuff and it looks pretty good. They kind of have like three main wheels. Like this is like their kind of retro kind of sports car wheel. And then they have this, that's kind of like a retro like poverty cap wheel. And then this one is the, uh, the more modern sports car wheel. And they use those three types of wheels pretty much, a lot anyway. And there's another type too that's more like a spoked wheel we'll, we'll see in a minute. But this is a cool one. I like it. Nice little Miata. Uh, and we got another police interceptor. This time it's an unmarked vehicle. Looks pretty awesome actually. This is the Ford police interceptor. It is unmarked. Looks pretty good. And uh, this car looks pretty, sh yeah, it looks sharp. We get, it's because we don't have the side uh, details anywhere on the side. We get details on the, uh, the, the front and the back of it. So it's a Taurus interceptor. You get the Ford logo decent headlights. Uh, I would say that Matchbox is definitely the best in the business when it comes to graphical representation of headlights and taillights. Oftentimes quite a bit better than Hot Wheels. It seems to me. Uh, this one actually has a scale on the bottom. It's in 170th scale. Copyright date 2010. And I don't know how accurate that necessarily is, but that gives us an idea. So... 
it's a good look. This is a good looking matchbox. Nice and clean. Looks pretty awesome. I like that one actually quite a bit. More than I was expecting. Uh, all right. Moving on, we got the Nissan NV van courtesy shuttle. Let's open up that. This one's kind of neat, <laughs> even with the red windows. Trailer hitch on the back. Uh, copyright date 2018. Not much to say about this one. It's just a little van. I guess it's kind of cool. Kind of neat. Yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, next is this guy. This is a 33 Ford Coupe. Looking kind of rat radish. And it's decent. You got uh, some details on the sides. Nothing else. Look at the base of it. Copyright date 2017. Again, that does not tell you, just to be clear, so people that don't really know or don't have collected these things for a long time, they always look at the bottom of the, the date on the bottom and they think that's when it actually came out. That's not, that's not true. It's uh, the date that you see on the bottom is going to be the date that the casting was copyrighted, right? It can give you an idea of when the first one of these came out, which is likely going to be a year after their initial copyright date. Most of the time, that's what it is. Every once in a while, it's in the current the current year that it's copyright dated. But unless this is the very first version of that car, or of that casting, the very first deco it ever came out in, it's going to be uh, different. So the year's going to be different than what it says on the bottom is when it actually came out. All right, moving on from that. It's kind of a neat little rat rod. Nothing too crazy. Uh, this one looks nice. This is a Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet. So this one I think came out yesterday or last year. I want to say it's the 75th anniversary of Porsche. Was that last year or the year before? I can't remember. <clears throat> I think last year. Maybe it was this year. I don't know. Anywho, here it is. Pretty decent uh, graphical representation of headlights, and you got your Porsche logo there. Carrera in the back, details in the back, kind of sporty wheels. <clears throat> and when did the casting come out? 1998 is the copyright date on this one, so it's an older tooling. And it looks okay. Looks okay. It's kind of got a weird almost weird stance to it where it almost looks like it's angled up at the nose so that's a little odd but other than that it's a nice little blue Porsche nice little clean model there's no you know weird graphics or anything on it and Matchbox does that a lot they have a lot of castings a lot of toolings a lot of releases that are just basic including this one right here which I think this one's a brand new one uh, this is 1986 Volvo 240 I believe this is a brand new casting. I want to say it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. So let's check that out. Yep, copyright date 2022. So that puts the casting at 2023, possibly as a first release. Or maybe even this year as a first release. I'm not sure. I thought this was a brand new one. Again, we got graphical details up front for the uh, whole grill area and headlamps. And then we got the same thing going on in the back. And that's a lot of detail back there. That looks really good. I uh, like the color. I uh, like this tooling a lot. This is a really nice little clean model. And really nothing to complain about with this one. I think the wheel choice is all right. Uh, I think it looks pretty darn good. And this is a nice little model. So definitely like this. might be the, my favorite one that we've opened so far could be i don't know maybe we'll we'll try to determine that later but uh really nice little model all right <clears throat> and then we got this guy this is a mercedes amg sl 63 another convertible with uh 
blacked out rims. I think this is a, I think this is a fairly new casting too. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, copyright date 2022. Nice details up front again. So another like clean model. Just looks really good. And uh, I'm liking it. <clears throat> yeah. Molded details in here are not that great. But it's a $1 model, right? So, Matchbox, good bang for the buck, I would say. Especially with these little clean models like this. You just can't, can't really argue with it. But you can, you can try. I mean, but you're not going to win against me. All right. Next is the Holden VF Commodore SSV in Highway Patrol livery. So, another emergency vehicle. <clears throat> This would be an Australian one, right? Let's go ahead and open that up. And this is kind of cool. You got a lot of lot of detail in this one, just missing the rear. Copyright date 2022. Yeah, so this is a new casting too, or a fairly new one, we'll just say. And it's got the detail on the side. It's also got the detail in the front, which looks pretty good. No detail in the back, of course, just kind of blobby in the back, but, you know, we'll take it. At least you get the front, and you get, with the graphics on the side, that's pretty cool that you get the front. So, that's a nice model, actually. It'd be cool when this comes out in just a standard, uh, just a just basic color with, with headlights, taillights, like full detail on the front, full detail on the back. That would be cool. So hopefully it does come out at that way at some point. They did not make this with, like, a light bar or anything, and I don't even know if the cars would have a light bar over there, or under, whatever. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but this is a pretty nice looking model, actually, as well. All right, digging that. Put that one right here. All right, moving on. This is a nice looking model. This is a Porsche 911 Targa 4. And both Hot Wheels and Matchbox put out some pretty nice looking Porsches. And this is really no exception. This does look pretty pretty good. So this is, I think, well, I know this came out this year. I don't know how old the tooling is. I think the tooling is new, actually. And it looks like it is. Copyright date 2023. And they did this, I guess, the best they really could. It does look a little goofy having the whole canopy here, the whole roof and windows of the car all just a big plastic thing. It would have been cooler if they would have cut it, and it would be the Targa without the top on. Um, I think that would be better, but the details in the back are really sharp and really good looking, so I commend them for that. And then we also get details in the front as well. So all in all, silhouette of the car, it looks pretty cool. It's a uh, just that top of the car being all that plastic, not the greatest, but hey, we'll take it. It's another Porsche, pretty good looking Porsche. This is probably fairly close to 164 scale too. These cars are actually kind of, I guess, big. Um, if I'm just thinking about looking at Mini GT compared to this, I think that's a it's a pretty close, maybe size comparison. It might actually be even a little bit small but kind of hard to tell. I don't have the one out to compare it to, but I'm guessing they're pretty close to the same size. So this looks really good. All right. <clears throat> we got to keep her moving here. We got uh, Mazda 1992 AutoZam AZ1. I am not familiar with what the deal is with this car. It is a goofy looking thing. I can tell you that. Another, like, an, it's an interesting casting choice right from matchbox and kind of cool so this casting came out 2022 is a copyright date so last year i think i think the first one it came out it was blue <clears throat> if i am remembering correctly i think so so but check that out they got the uh, headlights part of the window piece pretty darn cool model Definitely pretty neat. 
But all right, let's uh, keep her moving. Keep her moving. This is a really cool one, though. I like it. Another clean model of a weird car, of a weird, weird car that I have just, I don't know if I, I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. All right, we got another one of these Mercedes AMG SL63. So we just seen this car in blue right here. And now we have this one in silver. And I think it looks better in silver than it does in that, that darker kind of purpley blue. Yeah, this is cooler. Look at that detail. That's really good for a dollar model. And again, the back looks really good as well. Just stellar. Super awesome. This one's a really nice looking one. I like that these have a chrome lip on the rims as well, as opposed to just all blacked out like they are here. So all in all, I think this one's a better better version of it. I don't know which one came out first. Not not a clue. Uh, cool little pair there, though, and uh, pretty, pretty nifty. All right, uh, moving on, though. We've got uh, this guy here, 1968 Chevy C10. Pretty nice model here. I think this is a newer casting as well. Look at the base. Yep, copyright date 2023. New for this year. It's got to be. The pickup before the square body. The C10. That's a cool pickup truck. Nice color on this one. Looks really good. Uh, again, nice clean model. You get some details in the back. You get some details in the front. And very much nothing to complain about here. This is a nice looking truck. Maybe the white base is a little goofy, but the white bumpers, I mean, they look great. So, and these would have painted bumpers, you know, or an option for painted bumpers, I'm sure. But nice looking C10. The only thing, maybe the, the wheels are sitting a little bit inside of the wheel wells more than maybe they should. But... No complaints with this one. This is a nice little clean model as well. So, digging that. All right. <clears throat> we have to keep it moving here. Uh, Mazda RX-8. Uh, this car was, like, super exciting when it first came out. At least it was. I, th I thought it was really cool when it first came out. It's really a kind of a goofy-looking car, though. So, let's open that up. I believe this one is new, maybe for last year. Copyright date is 2022 anyway. But it is a goofy looking car. It just is. I don't know if they did such a great job on the, on the look of this car. I don't know if it really looks too accurate, but it is just a weird looking car in general. Uh, not a huge, I guess I'm really not a big fan of it in real life or in die cast form, but it's cool to have a matchbox representation of the RX-8. I know that <clears throat> Hot Wheels does an RX-8 RX too, but it's more like modded or whatever. Not quite stock, so nice to get, I guess, a stock version of the RX-8, even though I think it does, I don't know, something's weird about that one, uh, at least to me. All right, 2012 BMW 3 Series Touring. This one looks really nice. It is in gray. Pretty cool. It's got a uh, black rims. You got details up front, which look really good. And then details in the back, which look really good as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to say pretty cool a lot, but that is pretty cool. All right. This casting 2021 copyright date like the color on it. It looks good with the blacked out rims, tan interior, and nothing to argue about with this one. It is a good looking, basic, clean model, which Matchbox does a really good job of. And this is no exception. So very awesome. Here, liking that one quite a bit. All right, we'll park that. <clears throat> All right. Uh, 2018 Ford Mustang Convertible. 
this looks odd, uh, to say the least. It just looks too rectangular to me. Pretty good representation of the headlights, I guess. There's like nothing. You can there is a little you can't really see in there, but the grill has the Mustang thing in there. Uh, we got some details in the back. Something is just a little bit weird about this tooling. And copyright date is 2018, so we're gonna say 2019 might have been when it first came out. And something is just squished about it. I don't I don't know. It just doesn't look quite right to me. We'll move on. Uh, Jeep Avenger, another nice looking clean model in yellow. You got the details up front, you got details in the back, just what you want, basic on the sides. The whole top is plastic, which is okay, it works because of the black top on these vehicles. And all in all, this is a pretty good looking one. Copyright date 2023, so it's a newer casting. And I'm going to say they did a good job on this. Quite a good job. Not much of a Jeep person. I think this is a good representation of it in Matchbox. So, decent. Toyota Helix 2018. <clears throat> Eh. 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 I mean, it looks okay. I'm not a big fan of the actual truck itself. Copyright date 2020 on this one. It's got a Chevy Avalanche look to it. <clears throat> so, eh, 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 you know, it's not the he looks of the past, right? But decent, I guess, representation of it. And, yeah, we'll just leave it at that, park it, move on. All right. Lamborghini LMO2. Cool, 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 cool. It's small. Definitely way smaller than the 160. Well, this one, they got the uh, extra plastic insert treatment, probably because of these side mirrors. Cool truck. Hummer-esque looking thing. Older casting, 2024, or 2014, sorry, not 2024. And definitely way smaller than 164 scale. These things are actually big. I've got a 164 scale Kyosho of this. It's much, much bigger. And I'm guessing that's way more accurate. But a decent one nonetheless in silver. Good color for it. Looks pretty mean. Digging it. All right, moving on. <clears throat> oh, uh, 2019 Mazda 3, another Mazda. This one gets the uh, plastic insert treatment as well. Nice little basic model of a boring car, right? Good looking front end. Good looking back there as well. Decent wheel choice. I mean, that's a nice little basic model, right? It's a boring car, but that's okay. It's cool to have models of boring cars, too. In fact, some boring car models are my favorites. So I do like the supercars. I like all that sort of stuff, hypercars, all that. But there is something cool about getting a die-cast replica of, like, something you're actually going to see out on the road on a daily. And a Mazda 3, sure. Sort of fits the bill, right? All right. <clears throat> And set it over there. Just set it back there. And then move on. Here's a weird one. This is a 1970 Honda N600 off-road. Weird thing. I think this is a new casting. And it's a strange one. It's got a weird stance to it. I'm not familiar with what real car this would be like modeled after, so I can't comment too intelligently on it. But it's a cute little thing, and it's got graphics on the side. It's got headlights and grill detail. It's a neat little Honda. It's a neat little Honda. 
We're going to go park it over there. And then uh, next is the 2016 Chevy Camaro convertible in yellow. Oh, I'm struggling here. Detail up front. Detail in the back. It doesn't look all that great. Uh, what does that say there? Sunny Drive. Yeah, it's a basic little Camaro. I mean, nothing nothing too exciting for me. This one's... Meh, 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 meh. I don't know. Let me know what you think. All right. Uh, we got another little Honda, the CVCC. In white. This is a cool little casting. I think it originally came out in yellow the first time the casting was released. Copyright date 2019. Cute little car. Kind of similar to the Honda Off-Road. Not quite, but... Neat little Honda pair there. And it's got details in the right places. It's got the front detail, it's got the rear detail, uh, quite a bit of it, Honda on the plate. And overall, a neat little model, for sure, for sure. Here's a cool one. The 1994 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Really nice casting. I like this casting quite a bit. I think they did a pretty good job with it. I think it initially, I think the first release of it was in red, which is the, really the appropriate color for this car. And uh, 2021, so I think, yeah, 2022 is the, was the first release of it. In red, I want to say. And good representation of this car. Like how they, I love when they use the window piece to make headlights. Whenever they can do that, that looks pretty neat. And in this case, it does look pretty neat. That, that way they're allowed to do the side details as well as rear. This one actually has, it's got a hood de de detail. It's got a little bit on the side. And then it's got rear detail. So pretty nice. I like that one. I like that casting quite a bit, actually. All right. We're getting down there here, sort of. Uh, Mazda CX-5. I'm just realizing now that uh, Matchbox has put out a lot of Mazdas. Nice detail up front there. Decent detail in the rear. It's gold. Looks pretty good. And not much else to say of it. It's just another boring car, but a decent model of a boring car. And I like that. We'll park it right there. Well, looks like I accidentally doubled up on this one. Here's another Mazda RX-8. We'll leave that one in the card because we don't need to open up another one. And... Wait a minute. Did we do this one already, too? We did. Womp womp. <clears throat> so this is what happens when you don't open things for a while. I forget what I have, and then I end up buying doubles. So it's never cemented into memory until I actually open it. So those are extras. So we get to skip those two. And then the 1970 Ford Bronco, which looks kind of odd, honestly. Let's open it up. So I believe this is a newer tooling. Yes, it is. Copyright date 2023. And I don't know if they left room for maybe larger wheels. It looks a little bit odd with these smaller wheels. Mainly because of this. The chunkiness, you know, of where the rivet goes through. It's not terrible. Decent amount of detail on it. Decent clean looking model. It's just seeing that chrome like through the... The thing, this would look better with a black interior probably and a black base than that, the seeing into that wheel arch wouldn't be as much of an eyesore and I think it would have been better, but what do you guys think about this model? It's nice to get a classic Bronco in uh, 160, well, not really 164 scale, in Matchbox representation. All right, carry on. <clears throat> Then we got this guy. Uh, this is an International Terra Star Boeing Fire Ambulance. 
Hmm. Boeing. This one's, oh, this one's all plastic. It's a metal base. Plastic body. Was not expecting that. So it's heavy, actually, because of the, the metal base of it, but it's a plastic all around. Likely no interior in it either, but this whole like front grille, everything else is metal, and it's a. I bought it, honestly, because it said Boeing Fire Ambulance on the side. That's why I got it, and Boeing's obviously been in the news a lot lately. And uh, one thing you may not know about me is... Uh, I'm a commercial airline pilot. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no. One thing you may not know about me is I actually uh, kind of, I do like aviation a lot. I watch a lot of YouTube aviation content, even though I've never flown a plane. I've flown in planes, obviously. I've never flown a plane. Uh, I never had really any desire to go ahead and become a pilot or anything, but aviation, for some reason, especially commercial aviation, really interests me a lot, and I watch a lot, a lot of videos regarding it. Uh, all different aspects of it, you know, crash investigations, incident investigations, all sorts of stuff. I'm kind of fascinated by it. I mean, planes are pretty cool. They really are. I mean, a commercial jetliner, come on. It's like a building flying through the sky. It's just, it's neat. It's neat to me. It's neat to me how many there are out there, all that stuff flying around every day. So anyway, I'm fascinated by that. So I got this because of the Boeing on the side. Yes, I did. And there you go. <clears throat> 2022 Renault Megane. I don't know how to pronounce that. French stuff is really hard for me. Never took French. Just to look at that top on this thing. Wraparound glass. Is that what the, the car actually has? But it is just smooth. Like there is no delineation between the roof and the windshield. Get a crack in that. I bet you that's not cheap to replace. Good detailing in the front. Good detailing in the back. So overall, pretty clean looking little unit here. And uh, not familiar with the real car. So I can't comment on it too much, but I think this looks pretty nice. I like that detail in the front with the gold. I think that looks really cool. All right, Ford Custom 300 in blue. Nice little classic car. Detail in the front. Detail on the sides. Nothing in the back. Little blue car. Kind of cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not bad. When did the casting come out? Uh, 2021. That's right. This came out as like a special, didn't it? Like it was gray in a racing livery. A special car. If I'm thinking correctly, I think that was a debut of this tooling. All right, we only got four left. This is the 2023 Ford Police Interceptor Utility in a paramedic of some sort. Put it open here. So another like emergency vehicle. What does that say? Ford. I don't know. I can't read it. The tampas are slightly sloppy. Uh, nothing in the front. Nothing in the back. We just got the side graphics. And I don't know. It's decent looking. A nice little addition to the emergency vehicle lineup of Matchbox, which they do a lot of. All right. Toyota MR2, this is the only, I think, non-mainline car we've got here. And it is basically a mainline car, but it's from Japan Origins. The MR2 casting from Matchbox is pretty darn neat. They come in headlights up or headlights down, so there's a variation to look out for. This one in particular is the headlights up. We get detail in the back, some detail on the hood. And this casting came out around 2021, I believe. And it looks nice and white. I think this might be, I think we might have gotten it in like three colors so far, if I if I remember correctly. I think three colors we've gotten it in. I want to say. And again, I could be wrong. Very well, could be wrong. But this is a neat casting. 
Uh, people really liked it when it first came out, but I'm sure people still like it and pick it up. And I will pick up every version of it that comes out because I like it. And if I can find it in both headlights up and headlights down, I will buy the different variations. I just will. Because I think it's neat. All right. We got two left. Another white one here. This is the Porsche Cayenne Turbo in white. Pearl white, it looks like. Yeah, actually, that paint looks really nice. Nice pearl white paint job. Some detail up front. Some detail in the back. Nice little $1 model. And then lastly, we've got the Opel Cadet 1975 flavor. Nice odd choice of car to make from Matchbox. I like when they do this stuff. These, uh, Look at that. Detail up front. Detail in the back. Cool looking little car. Copyright date 2021. I think we've seen this in one other color before. I want to say maybe it was like orange or something. I don't quite remember. But nice little car. So there you go. There's some matchbox for you. I think we just opened 38 of them. I think I had 40 set aside. We had two du duplicates. So it's just kind of cool to get these uh, get these out, get these out of the packaging, take a look at them, talk about them on video for a little bit. Long video today, uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And, you know, I don't know, what's my favorite? I think the little, the Volvo might be my favorite today. Maybe just because it's new? I'm not sure. I really like it, though. I think it's neat. And actually, I really liked this unmarked uh, police car as well. I thought that was a really nice one. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. What was your favorite of today? And yeah, I'll check out your comments and see what you say. All right, thank you guys very much for watching another lengthy video. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.